I'm not going underwater. No. No, fuck you. I will find a red brick door, and I will access it, and I will... I will try to work my way back to... Because, no. No, I refuse. I forget where exactly the brick door was on this area. Um, but no. I am not going underwater. No. I refuse. I don't care if I can breathe underwater. Don't care. I've actually never been this way. So we'll go check this way. Hopefully it has the answers I crave. Like a red brick door. And you. How fucking convenient. No. No. It's not underwater. No. I know quest locations can be underwater, but no, I refuse. Fuck you. I hate underwater. You diff! Fuck you, asshole. God damn it. hate this place. You guys want to know why I'm a necromancer? Because I like controlling these insanely powerful creatures. Fucking zap the shit out of you. At a moment's notice. Okay, there's a staircase here. That's cool. Um, we'll go back to saving. <laughs> I hate red brick doors. It's not as bad as water, though. I can handle those. Except for, like, insta-death. Which this guy could be. Sweet! <laughs> but he's dead. Ebony short sword. I could drop like 1,000 gold pieces. And I should be able to get that. There we go. Ebony, wee! Alright, here's another red brick door. I. This place. Tell you what. How about we save here? Check out what's on the other side of the red brick door, and then we'll call it a day. <laughs> Fuck this. And that appears to have been a mistake! Kill him fast before our reflection spell expires! Oh. Whew. Can't carry any more stuff. Hmm. Door here. Leads up there. Look, as a fear for me, this is probably like a dead end room containing like a monster and some treasure. Maybe some bookcases. I don't remember every single layout. <laughs> like that, I am completely wrong. Thank you. Break door. Dead end. Okay, so I know what I'll be using to get out of here. Wait a second. No, thought that was like activatable. Although, you know, it, it should be. I just have to like find a switch that like activates it. That that could just as easily lead to a fucking quest object too. <laughs> That, that, that's great. You fucking hit one guy, some fucking sort of like Nightblade or whatever, in like a fucking room way at the top of like this dungeon with a Z level that was impossible for it to exist. And you know, I had to get through there solely through glitching myself past <laughs> like the, the, the bars in the way because I couldn't get to that area in time after flipping the wheel that fixed it. Now, what if it's like that? Well, let's not worry about that. We still have more place to explore. I mean, there's still that other red brick door area. That's true. We'll make a different save. Just in case, rewind. Because, uh, thing might not be over here. This design looks familiar. So does the ancient lich that's in here. I don't have enough mana to cast my reflection. I absorbed a spell though, and I still don't have enough mana to cast my reflection. He had a book. I can't carry it. 500 gold. Yeah, I have another book. 
How to Lose at This Game by Grimoth Jack Reaper. New copy. Spared no expense. Okay. Slowly jog my way up here. And into a dead end room. A dead end room with a, another brick wall. The one that's covered by a bookcase probably doesn't mean anything. <sighs> Nothing in here in significance. I'm going to try the brick wall down there that's covered behind the bookcase. And then I'm going to go try out this brick wall back here. And, you know, if they take me back to somewhere I've already been before, I can just cycle through all the red doors again to get back to that one place I just skipped and ignored. Because, seriously, I was like, I don't know, something just told me about that area that I would like that even less than the other areas. Even the water. Call it Daggerfall Sense. Am I sure I can't open this right here? With the power of my ninjutsu? Yeah, I'm sure. What if, like, one of those... Oh, God. What if, like, the lever that opened this thing? It's like, I know it has to be somewhere in this section, but I don't know exactly how big this section is. Is there a wheel around here somewhere that I'm missing? Because I'm not a fan of coming back here after I throw one of those goddamn levers fucking strewn around this dungeon. I am not. That's assuming this thing even opens. I think it does. Think. Think. Am I sure? Nope. I pressed the wrong command of keys. Now I'm seeing all these flags, and that makes me want to cry. But that teleported me here. Can I make those disappear? Those are the wrong buttons. Tell you what, everybody. In order to get rid of that, I'm going to have to reboot Daggerfall. Reboot the game. I I didn't save recently. It was just in case. Rewind, but I know that actually won't take me anywhere special. Maybe I'll ignore those. I don't know how to translate that jargon anyway, actually. I, it's a bunch of flags relating to the quest you're on and stuff. I don't, I don't know what it all means. Really wish I could make it disappear, but I don't know how. Oh well. Yeah, that's actually too big now. I'm gonna have to uh, take a break as I close and open the game. So I'll uh, be right back, everybody. All right, we're back. I think I positioned Daggerfall correctly so that it's windows in the recording area, and I'm not even gonna bother to go up there now. Although I think the uh, the one down here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go up there. Shit. That is the working one. So let's go back up here and uh, re clear out this thing. Fucking excited about that, everybody. Let's go kill this goddamn ancient lich. Nope! Change my mind. Instead, let's go get killed by the ancient lich. That's a good idea, everybody. Why didn't I think of doing that? Ha 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 I, I don't have a I don't have enough mana for reflection. I I'm going to have to try this. Ninja tactics. That was the antithesis of ninja tactics. That was me getting my ass nailed by the ancient lich. He didn't even use any lube. That son of a bitch. He doesn't know how it feels to be me, because he's dead. I made him dead, and now I'm gonna pick up his book again. Aha! Memoirs of a Lich. By Lich. What do you know? It's fucking amazing. Fucking miracles. How do they work? Right. Brick door in there. And there was this ghost right here. That's cool. Alrighty, so I'm gonna access this brick passage here. Sobbing violently again, and we'll see where this takes me. Alrighty, it appears I've been here before. Yep. So 
So let's cycle through the brick doors again. Lever! Hmm. I wonder. Doki. Now I don't remember which brick door I need to access. There's like too many of them. And I don't remember. Okay, it was in here. Now I go there. Now is it in here? In here. Now I have to go. Uh, let me think. Maybe that switch opens that door so that when you teleport into the area you automatically fall down that hatch thus making it a dick move it's possible here was the area i didn't want to explore that much after i went up the staircase yeah i mean it could still be there i just i just want to focus on the door solving violently let's see what that switch did what do you know? <laughs> you fucking son of a fucking bitch game. Imagine that. Let's say theoretically you stumble across that particular dungeon design early in the game when among other things you might not have like a levitate spell or something or you might be close to death. You flip that switch, you get to this point, you fall down, you die. I mean, fuck, I'm level 17. I could have still been redlined. I might teleport in. I know there's a lich right there. Let's say I don't get a chance to find that. Because I fall down and die. There's no guarantee that there's going to be fucking anything down here, though. I'm probably going to go in the goddamn water. But at least we fucking had success here. You know, at least getting to this point. Fucking switch. And I'd much rather, you know, I'm glad for whatever reason that was the switch that opened this thing and we're good to go. And that's a mummy! Considering how that's the only mummy I've seen thus far, I'm pretty sure I hope to God. But he's not alone. He has some company in there. In the form of a lich. Heh heh heh. Anybody else in here? Nope. Explore that. And... Explore random sounds. Yeah, that mummy was the one that we needed, but let's not let's not listen to random sounds there. Let's take the dust of restful death and this parchment that we will use a tad later, but for now, I'm done with this place. I ain't fucking exploring the goddamn water. I ain't fucking exploring any fucking thing. Let's teleport to the beginning. See ya bitches! Nope. Now that we're out here, I daggerfall intuition, a sheer dumb luck. I wouldn't consider that luck at all. Just uh, you know, uh, when you explore these dungeons, you gotta be aware of the fact that uh, your quest target, whether it's a monster or an item, can be hiding in a quest location, which, given the fucking randomness of these dungeons, can be anywhere. It can be underwater, it can be behind a secret door, the odds of which you are seeing, unless you're looking at the map all the time, or fucking 2%. It can be anywhere. In this case, I decided to think, I thought that things should open, and so I decided to, like, maybe if I stumble across a switch, I'd get lucky. And, you know, I was actually using those red bricks to teleport back to that area I skipped, and by sheer whim, I noticed that switch that I had originally missed whenever I went through there. So that was very fortuitous. Of course, that doesn't end all of our adventures. And actually, hold on one moment, I gotta pause. As I was saying, that does not end all of our adventures. I gotta take this dust to Medora. <laughs> You remember where she is? Did you say Dereni Tower? <laughs> yeah. Fuck. So let's go ahead and read this note here that we got. This parchment was used as a wrap for the packet of powder. Some of its message is now illegible. Lady Med. Free Med. Lady Medora, I presume. 
There should be more message here. Favor. They intend to slay him. I am sending messengers, assassins, uh, warriors. I don't know. And not, that not, these other two didn't end with like ERS or whatever to stop them. You must support me. If the Empire fi finds I have attacked royal advisors away, rest. Then, if they are assassins, my people will never win the same status and respect as the magicians, perhaps. However, with your support, I can a hero of the Empire and win respect for my people. Gorblog. Now, I I know this Daggerfall story here. Basically, uh, Gortwog is trying to win independence. His own state of Orsinium, you know, respect. The Empire is a band of orcs, like, say, the Kahiti, which are, like, the fucking felines, or the Argonians, which are, you know, the lizard people. So, yeah, Gortwog's actually not a bad dude. He, he liked King Lysandus. And so, now that we have know that knowledge, now that we have all of that at our disposal, I'm gonna sleep here. And there are enemies nearby. Broken Quest is broken! Stop tormenting me! <laughs> Ooh! That's cool. Wagon. I probably won't actually be able to pick that up. Like, uh, I have, like, too much gold in my inventory. It'd be physically impossible. But I wouldn't mind dropping, say, 2,000 gold pieces to make that happen. I think I'm going to have to drop a lot more than 2,000 gold pieces. We'll say I'll drop 4,000. Now, I know I could put, like, equipment in my in uh, my wagon. I guess I'll do that. Let's say I'll temporarily put this in my wagon to get this. And then I'll put this in my wagon and equip this and equip this. That Daedric Warhammer was almost new that I had. Now, this one is new. Good thing I didn't enchant my weapon, huh? Whee! Okay. Save the game again. Success. I probably should have dealt with that quest before it came too broken and crazy. I don't know. Maybe that spam's always going to happen. He had me. And now we go to the Dereni Tower. Yeah. Anywhere you know it, kids? Probably should have unequipped that. Although, fuck, I forgot which direction I was supposed to be facing there now. I don't remember. Tell you what, I'm gonna travel here again. Fuck it. Don't care. Cautiously. There we go. And of course, that casted my magical items again, so they got a little bit more durability usage. Here we go. But I'm actually gonna pause the video here, folks. Uh, you guys know what Durani Tower looks like? You seen it before? Uh, I ain't, I ain't gonna walk through there again and hold your hand. I'm going to stop, I'm gonna like pause recording so that I move through there quicker, because it's going to lag far less. Get it over with, and next time I talk to you folks, it'll be whenever I'm with Medora. By the way, for Man's Recall, Anchor. So see you folks in a little Oh baby, you are a sight for sore eyes. I hate that lich. Hello folks. Let's talk to Medora. This is indeed the dust of restful death. As for that letter, it was from Gortwalk to me. Fucking sound glitches and goddamn undead going crazy. I didn't get I wasn't able to kill you. You weren't able to kill me, I feel cheated. God damn, shut up. Mute. <laughs> there we go, everybody. <laughs> As for that letter, it was from Gortwog to me. I never got it. I heard from him later that his orc warriors were slain, attempting to ambush the assassins. Gortwog and his orcs are not the villains most people see them. Seem them as. <laughs> Edware and the court of Wayrest have never been particularly loyal to the Empire. To assassinate a king is treason. I will have my revenge, but first I must find out why Edwear would risk this. I will need a month to prepare the dust. Come back to me at that time, and I'll give it to you, along with instructions for its use. Excellent. That's cool. We can get sound. And... 
See ya. Bye bye. Glad we solved that problem, everybody. Good chat. Okay, so we took care of that dungeon. And we are good to go. The next quest we have to do involves us going, well, dealing with uh, that letter. I think. Um, letter here. <sighs> yeah, I will wait one month. Uh, hopefully that didn't pass. I'm actually gonna go check that out now. I was thinking of ending the video right here. But, uh, really hope I didn't break that. <laughs> we'll wait one month. Hack, hack, robbery, and sentinel. Um, we'll see. I think I've been moving around pretty quickly, but I know I've been consuming a lot of time. Do I have, like, a backup save? Yeah, I have We Win. Okay, that was before I started the session. So, worst, worst case, all that progress there just would be erased, but... It, fuck it. In that case, I'll probably just fucking cheat hacks my way through the whole goddamn thing. You, you, you question my cheat hacks capabilities, children? Oh, no. Hack. Okay, remember, Hack. Find Akha. Alrighty, this will take 13 days of uh, 7 now. Good thing I've been traveling so recklessly everywhere. Though I think it's very likely a month has passed. Hopefully that won't be an issue. Um, the Dark Brotherhood is there, that's good. I need to go to a residence here. No, it's not in there, dumbass. Stop looking. Actually, the Thestar residence. Unequip this. Unequip this. Let's find the Thestar residence. And see whether it is too late. Some of you folks may have been paying attention to how many days it's been taking, but not me. Not so much. Of course, you know, this is kind of essential to the main quest line. You know, this might not even matter. The time thing might be a joke. But, um, yeah. If this is broken, this would be a problem, folks. I would not, uh, be able, physically able to complete the, um, the main quest storyline anymore without loading and, uh, redoing that dungeon. Of course, first I'd actually have to go do this. And then go reclaim the dust of restful death, and that might change my dungeon assignment and everything. Which I would totally look forward to right there. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'd love to have to fucking figure out a new dungeon. I'm telling you children, if that happens, I ain't fucking playing to that thing legitimately. I will fucking use my cheat mode and rock source my shit all the fucking way through that goddamn dungeon. Like, you won't even fucking believe. I fucking recorded a half hour of footage. Well, now it's gonna be like a half hour of this video going through that damn thing. I ain't doing it again. <laughs> Daggerfall is not worth it. <laughs> Daggerfall is a good game. In theory. Hello. Pretty lady. Hello. Let's check. I wanted to claim the dust of restful death first because Medora needs time before she'll be ready and cool and everything. And you have to do this quest first before all of that will be good. However, I forgot about the time problem, which only have one month, which does not quite operate schedule that I wanted it to, 
as I travel to Arsinium, and then two locations on the Dorini Tower, and then back. Where am I now? Okay. So, it was that place? Okay, let's jog to that place then. Just to make sure I had the right residence there. I'm going to go through and I'm going to take a look at that just to make sure everything works fine. If it does, then this entire session basically got to see you showcase something that uh, did not officially happen. Well, I still found the dust of restful death, and it was still quite intelligent. And I have the powers of, uh, of cheat hacks at my disposal. And I feel no guilt at all using them, which is what I'm going to be doing. But first, it appears I will have to do this quest. <sighs> was it this residence? I believe this was the Thestar residence. No, I visited a different location entirely. It was the other house, the one across from here. So let's go into there then. Now you gotta wonder, what if, did I go through like the right door? Like I saw there was two doors there, so we'll see. I probably could have uh, checked things out a bit more before I loaded. Just so I could have saved face and so some of you might have thought better of me because you might think terribly of cheat hacks, but... Actually, I don't give a shit. This is Daggerfall. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't have to care. Okay, I did go to the wrong location then. That's cool. So, let's check out the right location then. Was it this house? Up here? Some of you might have been screaming at the screen, You went in the wrong fucking building. Because that was totally a scream. That looks like a quest figure to me. Now let's load chat with Medora. Doki. Hmm. I wonder. Did I actually have my chat with her in this save? Do I still have the dust of restful death? Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back through there. <laughs> Tell you what, folks. One moment. So maybe I should have saved after I got to Medora and talked to her the first time, folks. We're back. Again. <laughs> I hate... That, that was human error on my part, not saving the first time. But I did. I, I went through there again, and I talked with her, and I automatically traveled to this town, and we are back in here. And we are going to head to the special place, for whatever reason my map is lagging, in town. It should not be happening. Now, if that lady isn't there... I can't believe I went to the wrong residence the first time. I can't believe I didn't save the game. How could I possibly feel so fucking comfortable with Daggerfall that I don't save after doing something like that? God damn it. Ugh. Angry! Of course, the more observant of you may have noticed, uh, judging by my lack of saves. You know what? I have no problems revealing this right now. Guess who uh, did not legitimately go through <laughs> the Rennie Tower? <laughs> not me. You fuckers thought I was doing that again? <laughs> I don't care if I fucking forgot to save. I don't care if it's human error. <laughs> this is fucking Daggerfall. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Yeah, that causes you to lose respect for this game, thus uh, not watching it anymore. So fucking be it. I have no qualms revealing that to you. Good day, Grimoth. My name is Glormsa. I must admit that I am surprised to see you. Are you perhaps able to help the Underking in an endeavor against the Necromancers? We will reward you liberally, as opposed to conservatively, for this service, and provide information you will probably not be able to find elsewhere. Yes. You will. Hmm, remarkable. The necromancers have taken an item of ours, a right pauldron of some value. Wasn't me. The value is of secondary concern. The true problem is that they cursed this item and gave it to the blades. If you are unaware, the blades were once the honor guard for Tiber Septum. Today they are loyal to the Empire and Tiber's code, but not always to the current Emperor. The Underking has reasons to not wish harm upon the blades. 
We want you to infiltrate Castle Lurwich in Yaklon and remove the right pauldron. That's, uh, set in stone. It's always going to be that castle. Please have this done in 60 days. Alright, folks. There you go. That's it. That's what we're going to have to do. But we're doing that next time. Hope you folks had fun. Hope you folks enjoyed the show and the experience. <laughs> Raise your hand if you thought that I was legitimately going through Durandi Tower again. Now take that hand that you raised. For those of you who raised it, face Paul, like so. You must have thought <laughs> that Grimoth had respect for this game. Enough respect to do that again. <laughs> Not after what I went through in this fucking quest, you sons of bitches. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. <laughs>